During the winter of 1974, a young Thaddeus Savannah and his older brother are given a ride home by their father. While playing with a magic eight ball, Savannah is unexpectedly transported to a place called the Rock of Eternity. There, he encounters a wizard who introduces him to mystical statues containing the spirits of the seven deadly sins, namely pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. The wizard, who is the last member of a council of seven, has been searching for a new champion for many centuries. To determine if Savannah is pure-hearted, he presents him with a test. Savannah tries to touch the eye of envy but fails, thereby failing the test. He is then transported back to the car where an altercation ensues, resulting in his brother hitting him and their father getting injured in a car crash caused by the chaos. A few years prior to the present day, a young boy named Billy is at a carnival with his mother. In an attempt to win a toy tiger, his mother plays darts without success. Later, Billy loses a pendant ball he possesses and chases after it, becoming separated from his mother. Lost and alone, he is taken in by the police who bring him to a foster home. In the present day, in Philadelphia, Billy Batson resorts to luring and trapping police officers in a pawn shop to gain access to their computer. He hopes to search for the address of his long-lost mother. Disappointed by the search results, he is eventually found and taken to a social services worker who places him with the Vasquez family, alongside his new foster siblings Eugene, Darla, Pedro, Mary, and Freddie. In the office building of Savannah Industries, a woman recounts her experience to a doctor and shares a video. Intrigued, Savannah takes the video to his office, where he had been working on a project to track people who had similar sightings around the world. The video provides him with the means to locate the hidden lair of the wizard. When questioned about his findings, Savannah ruthlessly turns the doctor into dust. Utilizing the symbols from the video, he gains access to the lair and confronts the wizard. Savannah touches the energy ball, which corresponds to envy, inadvertently releasing the powerful seven deadly sins. The sins merge into an eye-like entity that embeds itself into Savannah's right eye. Meanwhile, at school, Billy's foster siblings introduce him to the new environment, helping him adjust. During lunch, Freddie makes an effort to get to know Billy better, albeit in a slightly annoying manner. Outside, bullies target Freddie, prompting Billy to come to his defense. Using Freddie's walking stick, Billy stands up to the bullies and drives them away before seeking refuge in the subway. As he rides the train, mystical symbols appear, and he finds himself transported to the Rock of Eternity. There, the wizard reveals that he had previously bestowed his powers upon someone else, who ultimately turned evil and caused immense harm. Determined to find a pure-hearted successor, the wizard has searched for countless years, leading him to choose Billy. The wizard instructs Billy to speak the word Shazam, and as he does so, Billy transforms into the superhero known as Shazam. The wizard then vanishes. Shazam returns to Philadelphia and goes back to the foster home, where he reunites with Freddy. Together, they test Shazam's newfound abilities, including lightning manipulation, super speed, and extraordinary strength. They intervene in a store robbery, using their powers to stop the criminals. Upon returning home, Billy discovers that he can revert to his original form by uttering the word Shazam. In a dramatic turn of events at Savannah Industries, Dr. Savannah disrupts a corporate meeting where his brother and father, who had lost his legs in the 1974 accident. A heated confrontation between the siblings ensues, culminating in Savannah hurling his brother out of a window. Displaying the sins in his eyes, he unleashes a merciless onslaught, killing everyone in the room, including his father. Meanwhile, Freddy gains popularity by posting videos showcasing Shazam's powers, which quickly go viral. At school, Freddy and Billy decide to skip class to explore the extent of Shazam's abilities. Pretending to be Shazam, Billy accompanies Freddy as they experiment with fire immunity, flight, and super strength. Delighted with their discoveries, they visit a mall, utilizing lightning manipulation to charge people's cell phones and enjoy free sodas. They even attempt to purchase a lair from a real estate agent and make a visit to a strip club. As they exit the club, Billy suggests they need more money, leading them to zap an ATM and take some cash, which they use for shopping. The next day at school, the bullies target Freddy and Billy once again. However, 
Freddy confidently claims that he knows the new hero, Red Cyclone, and promises that he will make an appearance during lunch. Although initially skeptical, the bullies become intrigued. Meanwhile, Freddy and Billy have a disagreement, as Freddy is accused of using Billy solely for his powers. Later, during dinner, the family discusses their thoughts on the new hero, and Freddy takes a dig at Shazam, sparking an argument between him and Billy, leaving the rest of the family perplexed. The following day at school, Billy decides to skip class to search for his mother, despite Freddy's invitation to have lunch together. As Shazam, Billy engages in various activities, taking selfies and using his lightning powers to entertain and earn money. He encounters Mary and saves her from being hit by a car. During their conversation, Shazam unintentionally reveals that he knows details about Mary's name and living situation, leading to an awkward moment before he departs. Freddy later finds Shazam and attempts to communicate, but Shazam tries to defuse the situation by shooting lightning that inadvertently causes a bus to veer off a bridge. Using his newfound ability to fly, Shazam rescues the bus and places it safely on the ground, only to realize that he hasn't fully mastered his powers. Amidst the commotion, Dr. Savannah appears and demands the powers possessed by Shazam. Dismissing him, Shazam is swiftly overpowered by Savannah, crashing through a mall. Panicking, Billy flees, and Freddy becomes Savannah's hostage, with Savannah demanding to be taken to Billy. Billy quickly arrives at his mother's location after receiving the information from Eugene. Meanwhile, Savannah shows up at the foster home with Freddy as his captive, trapping the rest of the children. At his mother's apartment, Billy learns the painful truth that he was intentionally abandoned and that his mother believed he would have a better life with others. Despite the heartbreak, Billy remains composed and reassures his mother that he is fine but needs to return to his real family. Before leaving, he gives his mother the keychain compass she had given him years ago, acknowledging his mixed feelings of regret, resentment, and understanding. As he departs, Billy receives a call from Savannah, instructing him to come home. Billy jumps off the building and transforms into Shazam, flying back to his foster home. Feeling the weight of the responsibility and the danger his family faces, Shazam decides to sacrifice his powers to protect them. Sivana opens a magical door to the Rock of Eternity and seizes the wizard's staff, unleashing the seven deadly sins. The siblings manage to enter the cave and create a diversion, allowing them to escape to a winter carnival. Sivana and the sins launch an attack on the carnival, endangering the Ferris wheel. Shazam and Savannah engage in a fierce battle throughout the carnival. Seizing the wizard's staff, Shazam and his family shout his name, transferring his powers to each member and transforming them into adult superheroes known as the Shazam family. They each confront a sin, while Shazam fights Savannah, their battle soaring through the city's skyscrapers. As the Ferris wheel teeters on the brink of collapse, Freddy swoops in and saves the last two people aboard, who happen to be the bullies. Shazam and Savannah find themselves on a rooftop, and Shazam provokes the remaining deadly sin, Envy. It tears itself out of Savannah's eye, and Shazam strikes it with lightning upon uttering the word Shazam, causing it harm. Savannah is knocked off the roof, rendered mortal. Shazam retrieves him and brings him back to the carnival, removing the magical eye. The Shazam family saves the day, receiving cheers from the crowd. They take the eye back to the lair and return the sins to their containment. Shazam and Freddy decide to claim the lair as their own. Back at the foster home, everyone reverts to their original forms and watches a news report about the carnival incident, with Santa Claus narrating the event. The foster family shares laughter and conversation, and Billy finally feels happy and secure, fully embracing his newfound family. At school, Freddy sits alone at lunch, only to have his siblings join him at the table, leaving no room for the bullies. When the bullies inquire about his friendship with Red Cyclone, Shazam arrives and expresses how Freddy has shown him the true meaning of being a hero. He also introduces another friend, Superman. In the mid-credits scene, Savannah is shown in a prison cell, obsessively doodling the symbols on the walls in an attempt to reopen the portal. He is interrupted by Mr. Mind, an alien caterpillar, who informs him of the imminent convergence of evil forces. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this movie and found it entertaining. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more movies like this.